Okay. So we were talking about how Edward Jenner was this guy who inserted this small amount of um, smallpox vaccine in humans and saw that first he did cowpox and then he did smallpox vaccine and then he's like, you know what? If I put a small amount of germs, then the body learns to fight it easily and then they never catch that disease again. Isn't that amazing? That's because of how the human body works. The reason we don't fall ill with the same sickness over and over again is because our body has what is called an immune system. I-M-M-U-N-E system that helps us to fight germs. So, what do we have? What system do we have to help us fight germs? I, I, M, M, U, N, immune, S, Y, S, T, E, and right. So, an immune system is what helps us to fight germs. And the way it does that is, um, now, you might be thinking, well, but we get a cold so many different ways, right? How come you say that we fall sick only on that? Because its symptoms are the same, but the cold virus, there are many different viruses that cause a cold. Many different diseases. Now, uh, the way the body works with the immune system is whenever we fall sick, we have cells in our body called lymphocytes. Okay? L Y M P H O C Y T E S. Okay? We have cells in our body called lymphocytes that help us fight. So, what are those cells called? L Y M P H O C Y T E S. E S. So the lymphocytes and fasciculus, you know what they do? They create what are called antibodies. Antibodies. To help us fight those germs. And those antibodies stay in our body for the rest of our life, which gives us the strength, right? To fight all of them. So what do lymphocytes create? Lymphocytes make a. It starts with A, remember? An, A, N. I'll hold it fast. Far away. T. If you have to, I'll go. Ant. Ant. Anti. Anti. So remember, look, it's antibodies. Hmm? That's what they are called. So, what do lymphocytes make? A, N, T, I. Bodies. You need to sing the B. B, O, D. B O D I and body. Yeah, plural would be bodies, but bodies. So they need these to help us fight. So that's how they realize, okay. The first thing you might think is, hey, if we inject the germ, the person's gonna fall sick or they're gonna die. But no, they put a very small amount, just enough for the body to make antibodies, but also weak cells, so it's easy for the body to fight back. Then we have the antibodies. So then there is in 1885, so in 1885, there is a guy called Louis Pasteur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, in 1885, Louis Pasteur found vaccine for a different disease. So in which year did Louis Pasteur find a vaccine? Yeah. Cure for uh, prevention for that. One, a, lean forward, move your elbow. 1880, 1880, one number off, 1885, that's right. So, 1885 is when Louis Pasteur found a cure for a disease called rabies. Rabies is this deadly disease that people used to catch when they were bitten by a dog that had the illness. So, rabies was given by the bite of a dog. Okay? So, which animal caused rabies? Rabies was caused by the bite of which animal? B, I, T. E, bite, O, O, bite off. Bite 
Right of a D O G. That's right. So David was caused by battle with dog, and he did the exact same thing. He injected a small amount of the medicine, and then I'm sorry, a small amount of the germ, and then people felt sick with it. But it was very mild, small thing, so they were able to recover from it. Since then, there have been many, many, many diseases that have been prevented using vaccines. Right. So that is why what they require is uh, kids need to be given all these vaccines very early so they don't catch all these diseases. So, for example, okay, so you get like something called a tetanus shot, T-A-E-T-A-N-U-S. Tetanus is a disease that is deadly. You know, people die and their mouth gets locked. It's called lock jaw. This part is called your jaw, J-A-W. So what is this called? This is called your J A J A W. Exactly. So it's called your jaw. So like that, um, there are many diseases that are very deadly and that can kill, right? So one is tetanus. The other one is um, um, drawing a complete polio is a very dangerous one where people get disfigured for life, you know, their legs don't grow enough, so then they have uneven legs and all kinds of dangerous diseases, but there is a polio vaccine that prevents that. So that's what uh, the vaccines, they prevent all kinds of diseases. So, now we've talked about a bunch of different sicknesses, right? We talked about the cold, different diseases. So what is, think of a, a sickness that you can think of, right? Cold is one. Cough is another. What is another sickness that you can think of? Then medicines help. C O L D. Cold. C O C O L T S. Colds? No, cold. Yeah, cold is one disease. I need you to come up with a third disease. Very easy, right? Things that make us sick. Um, you had it, Rishi had it, all of us have it every now and then, but our body gets really hot and you don't feel so good. What is that sickness where our body gets really hot, we feel really hot and we feel really sick? What is that called? Yeah, your body gets hot, but that sickness is called what? F, 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 O, F, E, that's right, F, E, what? F, E, F, E, T, F, E, T, H I N K think yeah so the sickness is called F E F G F E F E move your arm back F E what F E V F E V F E V F E V what E F E V E R that's right so that sickness is called fever right when you get really hot temperature so. That's pretty much it. I think you're done with today's lesson. Okay? So we'll stop right here. Mm -hmm.